it's your boy Memphis here welcoming you all to check this out. The show here where we take a look at whatever deck we want to take a look at. We have ourselves a good old time. Today we are taking a look at the beginning of a brand new format. The old format, it is out the window. The new format is here for us now. No more scrap iron, no not scrap iron, no, no more super heavy samurai scarecrow. No, none of that stuff. No, no, none of that. Probably gonna be a lot of catch hero players and sky strikers today. But you know what we're gonna be facing those with today? We're taking ourselves a look at the digital bugs. This is one of my favorite old school archetypes. That's just, well, it's not quite old school, but it, it's old enough, okay? They're old enough at this point that they're, you know, they're getting on in the years. But you know what? Digital bugs can still pack quite the wallop. They're all about spamming out on the board, summoning a whole bunch of level threes. And we're all about the exceed summoning today. You yeah, know, you might think it's link spam. No, this is exceed spam. Completely different formula. And we're going to be going at it today with our rank three monsters. We're going to be summoning all the digital bugs. And we got some new stuff we're trying today. It's not just all Skiradiator, Beatdown, or, you know, Cicada King Control, although he is very much prevalent. We're also trying some uh, spider action on the side. We're going to try something a little snarky. And if we got this one card in our hand, we got some nice little combos we can do. So, we're gonna go into EDO Pro. We're gonna show off this deck, show you how it works, the combos, the wombos, what have you may. I'll have the deck list on in the description as always, if you wanna see what we're playing with. And it's just a quick, you know, breakdown of the deck. We're playing the digital bugs, light insect monsters, they get their positions changed by card effects or, you know, just changing their battle positions. Then different effects of theirs go off, center bit searches, web solar summons from the hand, LED bug adds monsters, etc. We have a whole bunch of monsters at special summon. When we do summon our insects, like our twin bow, our scale bomber, we've got Registrider who helps start up a lot of our plays. We have the Dream Cicada, which is another very nice monster because he summons and switches people's modes. And we have the Spider, which is a one card stop to summon out giant spider boys. So we're gonna be showing off a little bit of everything we can today in some good old fashioned dueling. So enough talking, let's get right into the action. Let's see what the new format has in store for us. All righty, our first opponent, another day, another card game, brand new format. And our deck likes to go first. We are very much a control slash beatdown deck. So we're gonna go, go first and see what kind of hand we get. Hmm. Okay, well, this is actually not too shabby. You know, this is actually pretty damn good. So we're gonna start off with of the Frisian Mother Spider. It's a very nice card. You can tribute this card in order to summon three copies of the Baby Spider. It's a very powerful play here. Now we're locked into bugs for the turn, but we are trying to summon only bugs this turn. So we got these three Baby Spiders. They increase their levels because they're all on the board. You can tribute one of them off to make the other two level 10. This way we can make if I can stop double-clicking things, uh, we can make an exceed. We're gonna make a, the Ravenous Tarantula. Very nice big dude. My opponent tries to special summon stuff. He's gonna take some damage every time he does. And I can overlay of the number 84 right on top of this dude. You might have seen this play done in trains a billion times in the past. We can do it too. So now that we've done that, we're actually gonna use the effect of the baby spider in the grave. I swear, there, there's digital bugs in here. We're getting to that part. Uh, but we're going to use the baby spider in the grave. We're going to pay half our life. We're going to detach the ravenous tarantula. And we're going to bring back the ravenous tarantula. Now, ravenous has an additional effect. So, so as long as our life points are different, all my monsters will gain attack and defense equal to the difference. So I get a four stacks so long as these two are out like this. It's pretty brutal. So we've got our digital web solder, and we have the new dream cicada. Nice card. I can special summon it while I have this attack mode bug. And then I can just switch Web Soldier to defense. If this was any other digital bug, this would have done something cool. Uh, but for now, we are going to be able to start with the Cicada King. This is one of our number one starters up in this deck. Uh, oh, and he has an additional effect because of the Web Soldier, but that doesn't matter right this moment. Uh, basically, that was going to... What was that effect? That was the one that... Um, it turns all my post monsters to defense. It makes their defense zero. Which is a nice effect. It just doesn't do anything turn one. Uh, but there you go. This is our one card combo for a very nice control board. We have Pain Gainer. Every spell trap my opponent plays will cost them 600 life points. Every monster they summon, 600 life points. 
We have the Cicada King who can negate monster effects. And we have the Dynamiscus if we happen to need it. So basically, my opponent can do all the combos he wants. But every time he does it, you know, he's going to take some damage. Admittedly, the more damage he is doing to himself, the closer he gets to just running our boys over. But, you know, such is life. You know, we were going to lose some of those attack points at some point anyway. But it's all good. Because once we start gaining advantage over the opponent, then the spotters, you know, they'll, they'll gain the attack points back. Basically, they're the ultimate equalizer in the game, you know, because, the you know, when we have our lower life points, they get bigger. When we have higher life points, they get bigger again. Uh, unfortunately, my opponent has surrendered. All right, well, I'm not going to count that towards the final score because th that was nothing, really. I mean, I was going to run my opponent over next turn. I've got Bug Signal to turn this into a giant butterfly, and I got these two dudes. So, a good showing of the card combo, but that doesn't count towards, like, the full-on scope of what this deck can do. I just wanted to show off the combo. So, let's go for an actual first opponent. Find someone who will at least attempt to, you know, lock horns with us as properly do. And we'll see We'll see what else the new format will bring us. All righty, an actual first opponent. Let's go and do it again. Again, again. And we'll see what happens. You know, sometimes people will go, you know, they'll start and then they'll stop. It's unfortunate, but true. But let's see what we can have with this hand. Okay, this is more of a digital bug hand, and I am okay with that. So, let us normal summon Sentiment. It's a very nice monster Sentiment. Because when he switched to defense, I can summon another monster from my deck. We'll also summon out the Registrider. Very nice dude. He lets me change my levels. Uh, but we don't need to do that right now. That's more of a late game sort of thing. Uh, but Registrider, I can switch my Sentiment to defense mode. That will then allow me to get more things. And my opponent may try to imperm me, but if he does, it's fine. Because I've got the Cicada. I have psychic powers, if you didn't know. All right, that's totes fine. Like I said, we have the redundancy. So we're going to special summon our dreamy cicada boy. And like I said, he's going to put my boy into defense mode, get me more things. That's what this deck does. We just summon, summon, summon. And yeah, if it wasn't for the fact that I get locked into bugs on occasion, you could put like freaking Masquerade and Avermax combo in here to just have lots of big numbers, but... I don't really don't need that at the moment. Uh, let me think. Where is LED bug? I kind of want this for multiple reasons. And let me think about this. Oh, I have so many cards. Oh, I have so, so, so many cards. Uh, let's, yeah, let's somehow our B Trooper Scale Bomber. I'll get myself an interrupt with that. I can tribute off a bug to destroy a monster when it uses its effects. That's pretty cool. Let's... Okay, I have a card in my hand. So I should... Do, 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 do. Let's see. We'll use Registrider and we'll use LED Bug. We'll go ahead and make Cicada King. He'll gain a thousand attack and defense, and if he beats a monster, I get to draw a card. It's pretty sweet. And we'll go ahead and make Maskudana in case bad things happen. All right, not bad at all, not bad at all. And we're not locked into anything at the moment, so there you go. Sometimes you're locked to bugs, sometimes you're not. Uh, but for now, we'll end our turn, and we'll see what our opponent can do. I mean, he's bereft of Imperm. Bet he wishes he still had that Imperm. But no dice for you, sir. No sir, do. I mean, this is what we do. This is uh, Marincess. This card summons summon Marincess in the hand. Um, no. I'm pretty sure I'm good. I need to be careful with Marincess. They have a lot of, like, stuff that they do. I'm gonna be careful about what I negate. Okay, so we got the blue slug. Uh, that revives a monster. And then that'll go off. Okay. Gotta be very careful. Marincess are a... They're a tricky bunch. They got some pretty high attack numbers if they if you give them the chance to do it. Uh, Marincess, C, Angel. Let's negate that one. I uh, know. I'm good. Uh, let's go ahead and not change modes. I'm just going to give myself a... I'm going to give myself a 500-point defense boost. That sounds even better. So we'll stop with the C, Angel. Hopefully that puts an end to Field Spell. 
because without Field Spell, Marincess really aren't that big of a deal. They kind of need that card to live. <clears throat> That's kind of their big thing. Search the Field Spell, put all these links in the graveyard. It's a cool strat, but it's not nothing if you're up against the Bugman. The Bugman says the, the stuff stops here. The nonsense stops, and my opponent surrenders. That's unfortunate. I was hoping he'd at least go into Coral, but I guess he figured, you know, make Coral an enemy, effect activates, pop Coral, then what are you going to do? So, yeah, sometimes that's all you need to do to stop Marin says, is stop him from getting the field spell, because, again, without it, they don't do half as much. Uh, but we'll go ahead and count this duel and the last duel as one hull win. Let's go for uh, another duel. And continue to show what this deck can do. We're, we're showing off the combos good. I want to see, though, the back and forth. That's where the real... That's, that's where I really enjoy it the most, when the back and forth happens. So let, let's go for another duel. All righty. Second or third opponent. Let's go and do it again. I don't know. I guess, I guess this is technically the second, third, whatever opponent. We'll call it that. Uh, but we're going to go for... Ooh, it's my favorite tech card. I love this card in here. This is Xyz Import. This is an interesting little doohickey. Basically, it lets me steal a monster and put it as material on my other monsters. It's pretty neat. It's like, it's targeted, but it's not a negate. It's not a destruction. It's just a cool card in general. Come on. I mean, look at it. It looks pretty neat. That's some pretty sick art on there. Uh, but we got our scented it. Let's go ahead and summon out... Um, I feel, I feel a scale bomber would be nice. Like I said, going first in this deck, most of the time you are going to make Cicada King. Radiator is really for if you're going second, especially if you've got things like, you know, Reddish Tride. If you, if, you know, sent a bit, you just get a whole bunch of digital bugs on the board turn two. You go for Radiator and he lets you roan over your opponent, like unironically. He's a dung beetle. That's kind of his whole shtick, is that he rolls over things. Kind of his life goal. Uh, but for now, pretty nice setup. I mean, I've got my Dynamicious. That's a nice card. I've got Monster born s cards like with my Cocoon Denser. So this is just a nice card for that. What is this? Oh, Mound of the Bound Creator. Okay, is this Time Lords? Ah, uh, it's Time Lords. Uh, so, can I be targeted or destroyed by card effects? Um, okay. I'm gonna have to do with this. I don't want to do that, but I literally will lose if I don't do that. Uh, so I'm gonna be like, Xyz import? Give me your blood. Your blood is mine now. Alright, there you go. So, this is gonna be tricky though, because Time Lords are uh, Time Lords, and Time Lords are Time Lords, if you know what I mean. That could be a tricky wicket. Oh, hey, it's Link Karibo. Cool. I like me a Link Karibo. That's true. Although, now he's got the Time Maiden. Time Maiden. Come on, Call of the Hound. No. I was thinking, can I get Call of the Hound or Call by the Grave? That would have been nice, but no. Not quite. All right. Uh... Heck, all the fenders. I really wish I had LED bug at the moment. That would have been really cool. Um, do I have a bug in the graveyard? I wasn't paying attention. Oh yeah, LED. L there's there's the guy I was just talking about. Like I could use that dude. I could use this little bugger. He's in defense mode, but it works. All right, what can I what can I make? Like realistically, I could make Adipus. Hmm. Like, if that helped me, I would do it, but I cannot, therefore I won't. Let me think about this. Um, there's a monster my battle. Yeah, the problem is this will just tag out if I attempt to do that. Like, normally I would do that, but doing that would not help me. Oh, I could make garbage, but that doesn't help me in any meaningful way. So I'm just going to attack and hope for the best. The good thing is that Cicada King negates but does not destroy. Uh, therefore, you know, whatever Time Lord this guy summons, I can just stop its effects, which is a good thing. 
Uh, the bad part is it's just slow to get around it. Time Lords are, you know, they're not the most powerful archetype in the world. Uh, but if you don't have the right things to deal with their nonsense, they can be tricky. But luckily, we are big brain squid boys here. Who's this? Hallion. Hallion? I don't even remember what this one does. What does this one do? Take no damage. This card battles life points lower than your opponent. Inflict damage to your opponent. Equal to the difference. Uh, okay, so that doesn't really do anything meaningful to me. Uh, this is the one. Shuffle all spell traps into the deck. Ah. I mean, that's kind of annoying, and he's probably going to try and chain block me. That's unfortunate indeed. A little unfortunate. My opponent is a bit more competent than I... Well, we'll see what he does first. Um, let's see. No. I say the no. You can have your Time Lord back. Have fun with it. And then let's go ahead and... Um, this is the part where I wish this doesn't miss timing. The thing about Cicada King's effect, sometimes it misses timing, like when chained with this, this sort of way. So even if Ladybug was in attack mode, that wouldn't have been good. Uh, but no, I'm just going to go for the defense boost. I'm fine with that. Okay, so he's got Ali in the Time Lord. I would blow it up with the Scale Bomber if it could be destroyed by Scale Bomber. But it cannot. All right. What that could you do? Oh, advanced draw. Okay. Okay. I could use with some advanced drawing right now. That'd be true. That'd be true. All right. I mean, yeah, this is the part where things get a little tricky. His deck is technically slow, but the fact that he has blanketing effects like that, not good for Memphis. Let's see here. Uh, if I put this in defense mode, I'll add another bug. Hmm. Hmm. Do I have any other bugs in the grave? I don't. Let me think about this. If I use those two to make Masquerina, switch to Kata King in defense mode. That'll let me bring back a bug. Make Nightmare Unicorn. Which would then let me bounce a Time Lord, but does that help me necessarily? Um, uh, some of the hands. From, oh, from the hand too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to try this, and we'll see where this goes. I'm gonna switch Cicada King to defense mode. I'm gonna summon out the Dream Cicada. That guy's effect will activate. We'll switch LED Bug to defense mode. Torrential Tribute. You mother. Ah, uh, shoot dang. Oh boy, I was not expecting the Torrential. Dang it! The, all, I had so many plays! I had so many combos and wombos! Uh, yeah, I was gonna put that, get a card to my hand, make, make stuff, make things. Make Nightmare Unicorn bounce this back into the deck. Just because I could, but no, my opponent's like, no, not allowed. All right, what? What? Is this mandatory? No, I don't want to do that. Thank you for asking, though. It wouldn't really make any difference. My heart is already broken. All right, well, regrettable that is for certain. I really need my Cocoon Denser now. That would be good, but no, I think this is the beginning of the end. We're a control deck. When we lose control, things start going down pretty quick. Regrettable indeed. Uh, I guess... You know what? Screw it. Dynamicious at least deserves to be on the board. At the very least, my Dynaboy will be on the board. Hallion. Hallion. Who even plays Hallion? I guess this dude does. So, yeah, unfortunately, I think... I just don't know if we can come back from this with what we have. It really depends on what Time Lords he draws. I mean, if he's got, um... Yeah, Zapion, who just spins over my Paleo back in the deck. So, regrettably, I'd say we lost this one. I'm gonna keep dueling, of course. If I come back somehow, I will let you know. Uh, if not, though, I'll see you guys in one... We'll have one more duel. 
I want to make sure that the deck is, you know, showing off what it can do. We've shown off what we can do, but as you can see, Torrential Tribute is our bane. So let's go for one more duel. All righty, everybody, our third or fourth opponent. I guess it's the fourth. It's the fighting duel. Time to throw some hands. Last chance for romance. And yeah, just go all into it. Let's see what kind of hand we get. Beautiful hand. Absolutely stunning hand. And I even have a digital bug to go with it all. You know, the digital bugs, I really like them. The spider combo, it's a cool combo, but it's not, it doesn't let me do digibug things. The problem is, you know, you have to use light insects for all the exceeds. It's possible to do this, of course, but, you know, some, sometimes you lack for a certain number of cards for digibugs. The swarming on their own is not superb. But you know what? We soldier on. I've got the solder. I've got a cicada. I've got things. I've got stuff. So, you know, maybe someday Digibugs will get a nice search into them. That would be nice. For now, though, they will join hands with the Spiders, and the Spiders will do a thing. Sadly, Ravenous Tarantula doesn't do his effect, though. He has to have materials, but you know, that's where Exceeds Import comes in handy. So, let's see. Normal Summon Twinbo. Special summon cicada. I probably should have done this the other way. Mm, yeah, I probably could have done that a different way, but it's, it works just as well. It's fine. This works just fine. I could even summon 77. Do I want to do that, though? Uh, I mean, this has an 8,800-point booty, so I think I'm okay. Unless there's a Nibiru involved. I was about to throw some hands, be like, oh, you have Nibiru? You, you will see that Nibiru, sir. I mean, it'd be very familiar. If I'm going to lose to something, at the very least, uh, that would be appropriate. You know, because I'm playing insects. Uh, Nibiru is a big rock. Uh, so we're up against Labyrinths. Um, okay, control a set card, cannot target this card. Cannot be destroyed. Okay. Um. Yes. Uh, because I'm going to activate Cicada King's effect. And I'm going to chain Xyz import to give Tarantula the Lady Labyrinth as material. And then I get a special summon of the Dream Cicada. And I could change a monster's mode, but I'm good. <laughs> I am so dead if this doesn't work, but I'm going to give it a shot. All right. Well, there you go. I've, I've stolen his lady. Your lady belongs to me now, sir. You may scuttle off. All right. So what do we have? Two set cards minimum. Okay. Two is not bad. It could have been worse. It could have been three. Hell, could have been four. Mm. And it could have been. Let's see. Web Solder is bigger at the moment. So what we're going to do, put everything in attack mode. Because the thing about the Tarantula combo, the more life points we do damage to our opponent, the less our attack becomes. Uh, but then, you know, if we do more damage than we equalize again, uh, then they'll start getting attack again. So what is my other effect? Uh, less attack, less defense. Um, like I could just destroy this, right? I guess. Why not? Less, or it's more damage I could potentially do. This is potentially more damage. Why would I not try this? Granted, he may attempt something. I mean, he's got a trap. Welcome Labyrinth for sure. Uh, let's see here. No, we're good. All right, Ariana is Kaputsky. Let's make 77 the seven sins. Partly because he's going to be much bigger. And I get OTK from here, actually, because he's just massive, massive booty. Uh, but also, if he would be destroyed, I can just attach materials instead. So it's pretty nice. All righty, so let's go ahead. I have a normal summon still. So, why the heck not? Let's go for Web Solder. 
will be at 4,500. This is the peak physical condition of, of the digital bugs. Mm. Ah, flex muscles that I don't have. <laughs> and let's go for attacks. Let's go for seven sins. See what this guy's got. You know, I told you this deck can do. It can do the control. It can do the beatdown. It has a little bit of everything. And my opponent surrendered because I couldn't handle it. All right. Oh, I wish I had more time to go. I, I got to catch a stream for my buddy Necro. He, he's doing good things. So I, I got to go for now. But hopefully this has shown you guys what this deck can do. So let's go for the end screen. We'll talk more about this deck. All right, everybody. So digital bugs beat down control. And yeah, like I did, I count the first two as one. So this goes two out of three. Perfectly acceptable for digital bugs for such an older bunch of cards. They can do some stuff, I say, even though a lot of what we did was the spider. I will admit the spider, cool combo, very nice. You know, it, it adds something to the digital bugs to give them a little bit of variety. But I still wish digital bugs themselves had like a, maybe a continuous spell that lets you search digital bugs from the deck. That would have been cool. Like when you normal summon a Digibug search one or something like that. Then Web Solder becomes so much more potent. Yeah. Uh, that could work. Uh, anyway, the deck works pretty good. You know, it does what it needs to do. Uh, it, it can get a little tricky in the grind game, especially against certain decks. And yeah, Field Nukes kind of are bane. It didn't really prepare for Field Nukes. Not a lot of players still use Field Nukes. But... I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. I hope you took something from this and you had yourselves a good time. So thank you for watching. Uh, your boy Memphis is going to go now. I have to go do things, very important things. And, you know, I'll see you guys again very soon. I have a stream coming up. I got a post about that. I've got, I, I, you know, I know I got to tell you everything I'm doing. Just let you know, stay safe. You stay happy. Y'all have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys again very soon. Y'all take care. I'll see you very soon.